How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to get around MDM lock on this phone right here. This is an iPhone 7. Okay, um, this should work on other devices as well. Let me just sign in and finish the setup here. So let me do that. So this MDM bypass is pretty stinking sweet. Um, I'm going to show it to you really quick. So it's activating the phone right now. Um, this obviously is for company MDMs that are set up on the device and it's going to get you past that so you can use the device without signing in to your company account. Okay, so um, should take a second. It should uh, activate the phone. And now I'm just going to note a couple things. Currently I have no SIM card in here right there. You can see that. And see right here, retrieving configuration. So this is the, the remote management or MDM lock. Okay, so you need to have a password to get the device set up, like you can see right here. It's the only way to do this. Um, so, boom, what do we do? How do we handle it? What do we do from here? So let's go to my computer, and I'm going to show you guys how to get past MDM lock remote management by some company on a phone, so you can use the phone without signing in to the credentials. Pretty cool setup. Let's go check it out on my computer. All right, guys, so here we are on the computer. We are going to be using 3U tools. I'm going to go ahead and open up this program. Okay, so I'll bring it over here so we can see it. So we're going to be using 3U tools to do this process. It's pretty, pretty simple, really. So let me plug in my device. Okay, so we are plugged in. And you can see the iTunes open in the background um, right here. So I'm going to just get rid of that. But what I want you to do is be under the device tab. And if you haven't got 3U tools installed, there's a video lesson down below I'll link to so you can do that. But you go to the device tab, and what you're going to see is you're going to see activated yes. Okay, that's probably kind of important right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools, and we're going to click on this guy, our toolbox. We're going to click on deactivate. And it's got a 10-second countdown timer that... Um, you're just going to have to wait for it. You might get a prompt on the device to trust your computer, and you might not. So just watch for that if you're having issues. And then um, from here, we're going to click Deactivate. And it says it was successful. And on the device, let me just show you, that there's, there's nothing changing yet, right? We're, we're still just sitting like you would expect on the device. And then over here, we're going to go to Skip Setup. And we're going to click Activate and Skip Setup. And we're going to go ahead and click start. Now watch the device here. And what you will see on it should be that uh, we should end up flashing to the home screen here. There we go. All right, we are done on 3U tools. It's that simple on the computer. Let's go back to the device and do this. All right, so that was a pretty simple step, right, to uh, get this device um, bypassed, right? So that's pretty cool. We're in the device. Now there's a couple things we got to finish at this point to make this thing fully functional. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, you can see I'm still connecting the Wi-Fi, still no SIM card. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to see on the top the device is still provisioned or still technically remote managed, but it's not. And the reason being is that if you go into general and you scroll down, there, under VPN, this is where you would display your device management and all the device management profiles for said company. Okay, They are not here, so not an issue. You don't have to do anything with them. Um, they're not there. Even though it says it still is, it's not. You've bypassed it, okay? So it's, it's kind of nice. There's no requirements about passwords or any kind of thing that they can track or monitor or allow or not allow. It's not there. There's no provisioning profile. There's no device manager set up on the device, okay? So now we're going to come in here where it says sign in to account and we're going to add an Apple ID to this device. Okay, This is doing the setup basically once you're in, not during the setup process. So I'm going to sign in. This should add my uh, account and then I'm going to say I don't want to set up two-factor so I'm going to say don't upgrade my security. All right, And that should sign you into um, iCloud. Right? That gets your iCloud set up, that gets your device set up so that all your services will function again. Because we deactivated and reactivated, the device is active and we are past it. And the reason we had to do all these steps in the order we had to do them, if we didn't do it like this, um, you would actually end up, when you restart the device, it would go back to the setup wizard and you'd still be stuck. Okay, so there is, there is reasons for doing it the way we did it and it's just important to note. 
All right, so you can see my iCloud is officially added. And then if you want to see in here, you can see that the store is working, right? We can install applications. Now you're going to note this little, little exclamation point down here, right? See it? It's sitting there on the text messaging application, okay? And um, this is iMessage, and what's going to happen is once you go through, it's going to do that, okay? And then same with like FaceTime, right? It may have an issue, and you may have to just like open it and let it sync. Basically, what's happening is your iCloud account is syncing across the device right now, and I've even had, when I've done a reboot, have to sign in again, but just once, okay? So from here, this is where you're going to actually put your SIM card in. So let's, let's eject my SIM card. And let's uh, put a SIM in there. This is a SIM that's not active. I just want to show you that we do, in fact, have a functioning phone. So we're going to uh, turn off. Oh, yeah. So update carrier. I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. Okay. Turn that on. And then it's no service right now. And what should happen here shortly is it should come up with, you know, that SIM was a Verizon SIM, so that should come up. Um, waiting activation. This may take some time. So we'll dismiss. And then you can see right here it actually did Verizon LTE or functional, right? So now if we, um, you know, make a phone call um, like 411, you, you, can, you can hear that it's ringing. Okay, so because the car is not activated, it's not going to do it. But it is ringing, it is functioning, um, everything is working on the device. So from here, the last thing you're going to do is just go ahead and do a reboot. Um, and the reason you're doing a reboot is just to check to make sure that um, everything is, is finished. Now, um, 3U Tools has a reboot option in it, which is really nice because then you're not like waiting for it to like power off and then waiting to turn the button back on and all that. So if you leave this thing hooked up while you're doing this whole process to your computer, you can use 3U Tools to do that reboot. Um, it just maybe saves a second. It's just a nice little button built into 3U Tools that is pretty cool. So 3U Tools is nice. You can do quite a lot with it. And I would definitely recommend, like, if you've not used it, get it installed, check it out. And like I said, use this bypass method. It's a um, pretty cool little little method to do. So we're just waiting. That's the problem when you power off. It, like, goes to a black screen. And then you don't know when it actually tower powers off because then you got to, like, keep trying to hold the button until it's like, oh, yeah, it's actually off. Now you can turn it back on. It's I hate it, actually. It's irritating. When the screen goes black, it should be off. It should be done and ready to power back on. Like, the fact that it goes black and then isn't actually powered down for, like, 10 more seconds is just irritating to me. But anyway, um, okay, same, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. That's, again, that's because the sim's not active. So, um, But otherwise, everything does function. I've actually been able to send iMessages and do FaceTime. So it is all functioning and ready to rock and roll. And you can see we didn't go into Setup Wizard when we rebooted. Device is done. But we are still, if you go into settings, it will still stay at the top. That is provisioned by a company, even though it's actually not. So there you go. That is the bypass method. I hope you guys like this MDM bypass method. And you'll find it useful uh, for you guys um, doing some repairs or selling some phones or doing some stuff like that. Thing, one thing to note, if, if this phone is factory reset, you will be locked back to this MDM service. It's not removing the MDM. It's only bypassing it. And you'll have to do the bypass method to set the phone back up again. So... Just be aware of that, but if you want to do a bypass method, if you need a factory reset, it's not that hard as you can see with this. And this is on latest iOS. This is 13, you know, point, 13 point, 13 point 13.5.1 or whatever it is. The latest thing, current, right now. So, And this is uh, 2020 of uh, June in 2020. So there you go. That's the video, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. We'll talk to you later. Your Junkie out.